Hey, welcome back. This is Excel Video 385 and I'm Nate Moore. I spent some time on the phone with the group the other day helping them completely revamp the way they schedule their clinics by coming up with an Excel template that matches all their needs and focuses on what they need to see and at the same time gathering all the information in one place so their staff knows where to go. When you're ready to look at your scheduling and make it a lot more efficient, let's talk. I'm going to play with a new kind of filter today. It's new in Excel 2010, so the first thing I'm going to do is go back to the data tab and clear off all the existing filters. Then I'm going to come over here and we're going to filter patient names because there are tons of patient names in here that we need to go look at. So what I'm going to do is rather than do filtering, we're going to talk about filter by color in, in another Excel video or two, but rather than do text filters or date filters or number filters, this search box is where we're going to play today. And one of the things a search box does is you can start doing SM and notice it'll find Ishmael and it will find Jasmine and it will find Smiths. All It looks for SM any place in here. Let's just assume we want the Smiths. So I want all my patients whose last name starts with Smith and I can click OK and it'll do it for me. So it's a lot like a text box filter kind of on steroids and let me show you why. Not only can I look any place inside that and find SM, but now let's go find J-O- and now I've J-O-H-N-S, let's say. So there's the Johnsons. If I click OK here, I'm just going to get the Johnsons, and the Smiths that I have filtered over here are going to go away. The clever thing about a search box filter is, look at this line right here, add current selection to the filter. So what I can do, if I click there, now I've got Smith and Johnson, and if I do it again, we're going to get Moody next. So I better do a D and yep, I got everybody. So again, if I click OK, I'm only going to get Moody. But if I click Add Current Selection to the Filter, now I've got Smiths and Johnsons. And if I scroll down enough, there's some Moody's. Do you see how I can do or filters within there? I can do Smith or Johnson or Moody all the way down. It looks like I got John Stun in here too. It's... By, by an or filter, what I'm trying to say is I, I can always do Amanda Abbott or Jack Abbott by checking the box. But if I do a text filter and get equals Smith or begins with J-O-H-N or something like that, I'm only going to get Smith or I'm only going to get Johnson. If I do it in the search box, here we're going to do one more with Abbott, A-B-B. This add current selection of the filter will grab a whole bunch of them and then let me grab a whole bunch more where I couldn't do that with the text filter. I'd get Smith or Johnson. I couldn't get both. With the text filter, all I've got to do is do that, and I get everybody. So if you're looking for a broad range of, say, CPT codes, where I've got codes in this range and this range and this range, and they all make up one type of procedure I'm trying to get, this is a great trick to do it. Same with ICD-9 codes. It might work with referring physicians. There are a bunch of places where you can use the search box, and it works even where you've only got one in there, it can help you immediately drop down through the list, cut through a lot of names, and get to exactly what you're looking for and click OK. And it just, again, filters your way down. So I hope that makes sense. The search box filter is as close as you can come to an OR filter. I can do Campbell, and then let's do the search box for Collins. OR Collins, just like checking them both. If you want to do the providers Perez or the location is southeast. That's a different discussion. Or between columns is a more difficult, more advanced filter. And we're going to get there. But or within columns, Perez or Collins, when there's an awful lot and you want to get Abbott or Johnson or Moody or Smith or whatever, the search box filters your friend. I use the search box a ton in both tables and pivot tables. It saves me a bunch of time and I hope it saves you time as well. Thanks for watching.